Judges chapter 6, we're picking up about verse 36. It says, Then Gideon said to God, If. Two letters mean so much, don't they? And Gideon said to God, If you will deliver Israel through me, as you have spoken, behold, I will put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. And if there is dew on the fleece only, and it is dry, all the ground, then I will know that you will deliver Israel through me as you have spoken. If you're God, I want you to do something amazing. I want you to make the fleece wet and the ground dry. Now, I don't know if y'all realize this or not, but when you go outside and it's dude on the ground, what's, everything's wet, right? Everything's damp. And Gideon saying, look, I just want you to let the dampness be on one thing. Let everything else be dry. Then I'll know that you're God. And it was so. When he arose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece, he drained the dew from the fleece into a bowl of water. Into a bowl full of water. And then Gideon said to God, Do not let your anger burn against me, that I will speak once more. Please let me make a test once more with the fleece. Let it now be dry only on the fleece and let the dew on all the ground. All right, look, I, I know that I said, God, that, that if you would just do this one thing, then I would know that you was God and I would trust you and I, I would know that you had a plan, but you did it and, and I'm still scared, so I don't know. How about let me try one more time. This time, instead of doing what you did last time, by making the ground dry and the fleece wet, this time, how about making the fleece dry and the ground wet? And God did so that night. For it was dry only on the fleece. And dew was on all the ground. Get in. Shows his distrust, his unbelief. Even though God had called him, even though God had, had put it there, he still didn't get in. He was still testing him. He was still looking for answers. He was still looking to, to make God show out and show off. Testing him to do what was impossible. A lot of times we're the same way. God, if you'll just do this. God, if you'll just take care of this. God, if you'll just show me here. God, if you'll just do this one thing. And I will follow you and I will be obedient. And God shows up and does exactly what we ask. And we try to make reasons of why it wasn't real. Or why we shouldn't follow him. Or why we shouldn't believe him. It's crazy. We give more credit to men for what they do than we do to God for what he does. All we got to do is look around. We see God in everything. Everything. Right down to the seasons of the year. Spring. Summer, winter, and fall. We see God's fingerprints on it. Look at look at how it works. In the fall, all the leaves fall off the trees. It looks like death. They go from vibrant to to stalks. And in the winter, everything's dormant, dreary, dead. But in the spring. New life begins. Those trees that appear to be dead start to put out leaves. And by summer, it's in full bloom, full blossom. Even the world that we live in bears God's fingerprints. 
reminders of what Christ done for us, reminders of the death, the burial, and resurrection, reminders of Jesus. We just refuse to see it. God bless you guys.